Hi, Virgo. So you would not believe what happened to me. I just did a whole reading thinking that I was doing your reading. Like I was so in channeling mode. I didn't even realize that it was Pisces that what the reading was for. So I'm going to do your reading now, Virgo, because that was wild. You know, the whole time I thought it was doing a Virgo reading. And when it was done and I listened to the video, I was like, it was for Pisces. Oh, wow. Okay. Mercury retrograde, I guess, I guess. I've been having all these glitches lately today, man. Uploading the wrong, the, the same video twice. Wow. That like, this is the first time that one has happened, right? Mm-hmm. Crazy, crazy. Okay, Virgo. Let's see what messages Spirit has for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me on my channel. The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. I got mad love for you. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Okay, Virgo, this is a general energy check. Not going to resonate with all of you. If you are looking for a personal reading, you can hit me up on the live tarot line, your harmonic wave. Or you can book me for a personal reading. All that information and more is located in the description box, okay? Hmm. Okay, Virgo, let's see what Spirit has for you. Someone was trying to hide something. They were trying to get away with something. They thought they were going to get away with something. That they were a gold digger or... Uh, a very selfish person. Uh, someone was out for someone's finances. Someone was trying to manipulate you, Virgo, for finances because they didn't have any. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. This could have been someone you were married to or in a long standing relationship with. Yes. This person really thought that they were going to get away with trying to use you for money, Virgo. Like, no. Nah. Yeah. Hmm. Because they view you as the emperor. You have it like that, right? For some of you, this person's whole energy towards you is you ain't going to miss it. <laughs> you have that much, right? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be a problem for you to break me off a couple grand now and then. Yeah. You put an end to that. <laughs> Virgo, you said no. No. Everybody has to work, including you. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Virgo, you're now exploring your options. Some of you may be a bit confused. Mm -hmm. uh, you have cleared away something that is not. It was more of a liability. Mm -hmm. Now you're moving towards success in your life. Absolutely. This is triumph after overcoming obstacles. Okay. This person was an obstacle and a hindrance in your life. Mm -hmm. Some of you may be thinking or feeling like if you didn't have this person around, you would have been further, but you show up as the emperor, you're doing fine. <laughs> you ain't got nothing to worry about, Virgo. You solid, solid. Okay? Mm -hmm. People are trying to latch on to you. A lot of you, you're exploring options and avenues, maybe even creating multiple streams of income. Mm -hmm. Some of you may be a bit confused, right? There's so many opportunities, you don't know which one to choose. But somebody is recognized here, Virgo, you're being recognized for um, your ability to drop what no longer serves you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone's seen that you walked away from some kind of stress or burden or from stressing about something or somebody. Yeah, someone sees that. Yes, you're no longer moving towards someone anymore because you saw what the fuck, you, you peak game. That's what it was, Virgo. You saw what was going on with somebody. Yes. And it was faded, right? With this Wheel of Fortune, you're at the top of the wheel, Virgo. So it doesn't even matter, okay? You're the emperor, the empress on top of the wheel. Good fortune, good karma. So that shit doesn't even matter. Someone lost and they know it because they were trying to be sneaky. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to con you out of your resources. Now this person's in deep regret, of course, because they lost the real one, Virgo. Yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. This person feels lonely without you, but they could be trying to distract themselves with other people, other things. 
They really need to step back and take some time to go look within. I just said that. Take some time to go look within. Okay? Someone needs to exercise some temperance, moderation. This was divine intervention here. Because something was... Virgo, you may feel like... With the death card here... Something was slowly ending. Or slowly dying. Right? You were slowly working yourself up to deading something and clearing it away. You know, by the time it got around to it, it was just like, okay... <laughs> You can't get blood from a, a rock at this point, right? Mm hmm You decided to walk away from someone because nothing was happening with them. I'm hearing you can't make a house into a home. Someone could have wanted to be with you because you have a nice home or they got to experience the finer things in life. Mm hmm Or you make a house a home, you know? You create that environment. Someone was very comfortable with you, Virgo. Yes. But now this person's in regret because I feel like this person acted in haste instead of exercising moderation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Someone needed to slow their roll. Now they're being blocked. They don't have access to you anymore, Virgo. They're stuck. Yeah, because they've been just... I need to show you. This is crazy. This is wild right here. Look at this. On both sides. No, was it? Was it? It was. What's it this? Yeah. On both sides, you have judgment, six of swords in reverse, and temperance. What the fuck? <laughs> Virgo. If you don't know that you're protected, this says that you're protected. 100%. Okay? Like surrounded on all sides here. Spirit was protecting you from somebody. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Someone got a piece of karma that's like, life is going to really suck for them. The same way how they were trying to keep you stuck and stagnant in life is exactly what happened to them. This is why this person regrets it. This person was trying to go around using you for whatever they could get from you, Virgo. Now they have nothing. Mm -hmm. People don't give to this person. They're experiencing a lot of blowback from something. They could have been spreading rumors and getting caught up in their lies. and ugh. But someone is completely blocked off from you. They cannot come towards you. So they can want to a little bit more. Spirit said no. And that's it. It's not even you said no, Virgo. Spirit said no. Wow. Someone's being held back in life the way how they tried to hold you back, Virgo. That's crazy. This person wants you to forgive them. I feel like this energy feels like if you forgive them, they won't. their karma won't be so bad. But at this point, you don't have anything to do with it. You're focusing on what's important for you. You've, you've been working on something for a long time, Virgo. Mm -hmm. A lot of you just want to be happy. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Some of you may feel like you put a lot of time, energy, and effort in something with somebody. And you got absolutely nothing out of it. No emotional fulfillment. No security. No stability. No nothing. Right? Mm -hmm. But this was rejection is protection. Divine intervention. That's what this was. 100%. Because someone was being very sneaky with you, Virgo. Lying, cheating, mm -hmm. using you for your resources. This could have been somebody who was slowly stacking up their money and going on being a miser, acting like they didn't have anything. They needed to borrow money from you. Or could you pay for this? Could you take care of that? Spirit's like, fuck that. Enough of this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Virgo, you feel like you put a lot of work into something. For some of you, you could have been with somebody for a long time, but you just, you never got any emotional fulfillment out of it. It's like in the end, you realize that this person wasn't even someone that you could build something or grow something with, right? There was no investment. Hmm. I keep hearing
hearing slow death, slow death. But it's because Virgo, someone was very sneaky. Yeah, they were. They did a lot of things behind your back. And this is a soulmate. And I feel like you felt a pull with somebody. You felt the connection. That's why you kept trying. But it's like you weren't happy. The whole time you weren't happy, you kept taking L's with this person. Yes, because someone's ass was toxic. Look at this. Someone was very sneaky, Virgo. Very. This is devil energy. This is why you kept feeling that pull too. You kept feeling drawn to somebody. Some of you felt like you couldn't escape this person or you couldn't leave them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This person was lying to you. about. A, they lied to you about a lot of things. Yes, they did. They wanted to keep you confused as well. Mm. Um, acting from a space of lack of clarity, right? Yes. Uh, this person didn't want you to see. Oh. So someone was trying to set up. Okay. Okay. Virgo, some of you were dealing with somebody who... I feel like they may not have liked your independence mm -hmm. or the fact that you didn't need them. So they tried to make you feel codependent on them. This is like somebody who knows that they need you more than you need them. So they try to make you feel like you can't survive without them. Mm -hmm. You can't make it on your own without them. When really it's the other way around. This is projection. Straight projection. Someone didn't want you to recognize that you didn't need to have them around. And it's because this person needed you to live this nice, comfy, lap of la, living in the lap of luxury life, Virgo. They needed you. But they couldn't let you or allow you to see yourself without them, right? Because then their ass would be out in the cold. Somebody, you provided a nice home. Money's not an issue. Love with the two of cups here. Genuine love. And I'm, I'm here to work with you. Let's do this together. I love you. I care about you. Right? You looked at this person like they were your best friend or they were supposed to be your best friend. Mm-hmm. But there was some kind of, it, there's something very sinister about this person's energy towards you, Virgo. Yeah. This person did not want you to realize that you can go out and meet other people that are like you, that are on the same shit that you're on. They didn't want you to see that because then they would have been out in the cold. Yeah. I just said this. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm calling it before I pull the cards. This person kept lying to you. This is someone who was gaslighting you and someone really came for or tried to come for your self-esteem. Mm -hmm. They didn't want you to see your capabilities in yourself. Mm -hmm. They wanted you to be trapped in your head. Like I said, confused, telling you lies to make you feel like you're not enough when they know that you're everything. That's why their ass won't leave. Mm-hmm. Someone wanted you to feel stuck and tied to them. Like you didn't have any other options. Like no one would love them. This is this is like when you get you break up with someone and you get those text messages. No one will love you the way I love you. You'll never find anybody like me. They really wanted you to believe that shit too. Look at this. <laughs> right? This person did not want to be left out in the cold. They did not want you to recognize that you have other options. That you could do better than them. Yes. Because deep down inside, they knew. Hmm. And if you realized your worth. And for some of you, it spirit said, realize just how good looking you are. Okay, I feel like someone in here is your, you're a humble brag, man. You're humble. You're not bossy, but you look good. Mm-hmm. 
Yes. You're one of those ones you clean up real, real nice. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. This person wants to be with you, though, Virgo. It's not like um, it's you who doesn't want them anymore. Yeah. They look at you as Ten of Cups, of course. Look, at, They look at you as a soulmate, an emperor, Ten of Cups. <sighs> but this person still wanted to play around and be sneaky, but they wanted to know that when they're ready, they can really come home. Like, you're, you're home. Look at this. Your stability, your security for this person. Yeah, I'm going to fuck around and act single and go have fun and be for the streets and do whatever I'm doing. But when I want to come home and get a home-cooked meal and have my laundry done for me and play with my kids, I'm going to go back to Virgo because I can get that there. This person does look at you like you're, I'm hearing like the male, female, the official female, like you're the one. You're like wifey or wife. But this person still wanted to have their side pieces. They still wanted to play around. Mm -hmm. But your foundation, they all they just wanted to know they can always come home, right? For some of you, this person wanted you to just turn the blind eye, you know? Don't say nothing. Let me do what I'm doing but because I'm still coming home and I still love you. No, Virgo, that's not good enough. This person knows that they took an L because they lost it. They lost it. Everything. Ten of Cups? Yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. And someone's now in a cycle of um, decrease, chaos, conflict, competition, envy, jealousy, all the fucking things that they brought into your life, Virgo. That's the cycle that they have found their ass in now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. I was waiting for the tower to come out. Because all of this here, I was like, woo, okay. That's the last one that needed to come out was the tower. Mm -hmm. Someone done fucked around for the last time, Virgo. Yeah. With you. You're done. You're done. Mm -hmm. you, you feel like this person is weak. Mm -hmm. For some of you, you feel like this person's a pussy. <laughs> yeah, straight up. Mm -hmm. And they can't stand up for themselves. I'm hearing he's not a man. He's not a real man. Mm -hmm. And there's a masculine here who's looking at a feminine like she doesn't have her shit together. Mm -hmm. She looks good, but so? <laughs> so what, what else are you bringing to the table? Like, hmm. And that's, that's emperor energy, Virgo, right? Like, you look good, so what? I look good too. What else can you do? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you balance your checkbook? <laughs> Can you cook? Can you clean up? Take care of kids? Can you help build a business? What else can you do other than just looking cute? Because that's not enough. Hmm. Right? Yeah. This person is watching you. Someone is very tempted. Ooh. <laughs> There's a song. I can't remember. It's a... It's a, it's a Soka song, tempted to touch, tempted to touch. Yes, <laughs> Virgo, you turn someone all the way on, okay? Every time this person sees you, they just want you. Uh, they're just watching you being weak for you. Oh my goodness. There's something to go about. This person was not who they, this is an imposter, right? So this is someone who appeared to be one way, but really they weren't. They said they were something that they're not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This For some of you, this is what this person was hiding, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. This person is watching you heartbroken. Yeah, they are. Oh, wow. You got the three of swords and the sun in reverse watching you absolutely heartbroken. Mm -hmm. Someone's depressed, like they slid into a deep, dark depression. This person may have some type of mental illness. Mm -hmm. Something's going on with their mental though, yeah. 
For some of you, it's because you don't speak to them, you don't acknowledge them, or you could have said something to them that really just, it crushed them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you're just focused on working on yourself, working on your life. Yeah. Yes, you have hope, you have faith, you're healing. You're working on your healing. You're working on the things that you want for yourself now, Virgo. Yes. Mm -hmm. You planted seeds with someone and they didn't grow. But instead of sitting around crying over spilled milk and being depressed and laying in bed all day and not doing anything, you're still pushing through, Virgo. Mm -hmm. You still have hope that something will something will turn up for you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But until then, you're going to keep cutting motherfuckers out of your life who don't serve you because you do see something very clearly about someone's ass. Someone thought they were going to get away with something, being a con artist, lying, sneaking around, cheating, lying. No, not with you. You're too intelligent for that. You're too sharp. The queen of um, swords is highly intuitive. So, right? You're not getting away with nothing. And then you have the, did you see them flip up my cards in my hand? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Did you see them do that? Crazy. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I just said. It may be challenging right now, Virgo, but you're doing what you need to do for yourself, right? And it may be a struggle. The struggle may be so real right now, but you're determined to heal mentally, emotionally. Some of you, your finances. Because you took an L with this person. Because someone was, someone was misering you. Yeah, they were. Can you help me with my car payment? Can you take care of my car insurance this month for me, please? My check was short. Mm -hmm. Living with you, not helping out with the bills, not adequately. You're still taking care of 89, 90% of the bills. This person, and this person is stacking their money. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. This person views you as the queen of wands. This person thinks you're beautiful. Yeah. They think you're absolutely beautiful. They're going to try to make you a small offer. Just beware, though, uh, Virgo, whoever I'm speaking to, the person that you're dealing with, they're good looking, okay? They're they're good looking. They ain't no mush crackers. <laughs> yeah, they look good. This person may try to come around and entice you because the same way how they feel weak for you, they want you to feel weak for them. Maybe at one point it was like that, okay? But this person's going to give you a small offer. For some of you, that offer may be sex, Mm hmm. And it, and, and it may be it may be like something like no strings attached, but really what they're trying to do is cord you. Right. <laughs> Maybe you just have a one light stand or a fling or let's just say goodbye this one last time. And then you end up saying bye for the rest of the month. Like, you know what I'm saying? So just watch your ass. But I feel like you see this and you know this with somebody. So you're keeping your distance. You're making it really hard. This person may feel like you're playing hard to get. With this Queen of Swords here, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. You really just are hard to get now, especially for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I just I just said this. I just said this. <laughs> okay. They may give you a small offer. Some of you, it's really a small offer. Ain't nothing really going on down there. But um, they may their angle may be. Can we have a one a one night? To, Good, good enough, good, good. <laughs> Mercury retrograde. Can we have our last goodbye? Mm hmm. Or try to invite you out somewhere and get you faded and flip and bring you home? Yes. You already know this, though, Virgo, that that's going to be their angle. Yeah. And this person's still coming with the same fucking energy, still trying to get something from you, 
Still trying to get something for nothing. Yeah. This is sad. Yes, sir. Uh, mm hmm. Virgo, you want to know something though? This person is a soulmate of yours, 100%. The only person that's left to come out is the Empress. Look at this. You have, you have the king, uh, king of Coins and Queen of Coins, both in reverse. You have the um, Queen of Wands and the King of Wands upright that's out here. Mm hmm. Wow. Someone's going to realize that that approach is not going to work for you anymore, Virgo. Yeah, it's not going to work. And they're going to be stressed about it. A lot of anxiety about it. Yeah. Because this person, I told you, this person knows that you're their self soulmate. Mm -hmm. And Virgo, you know that too. Mm -hmm. It's just, they come with this level of toxicity that's fucking unreal. Like, how are you supposed to deal with this? And, and you, you got to ask yourself, like, is, is love enough? <laughs> because you love this person, you feel drawn to this person, you feel the pull. Every time, it's like you separate from this person and you know the, amount, the level of strength that you have to build up to get to this queen of swords. And first off, you have to go through so much stuff that you're just fed up. <laughs> and you're like, fuck this shit. I can't deal with this anymore. I'm done. But yet and still, there's still a part of you deep down inside that still wants to fight for this. But you know you got to be done. Hmm. Yeah. You're holding back. This is what's giving this person extreme anxiety. Because you're not opening up the way how you used to open up to this person. I heard to some degree. This person wants a new beginning with you so bad. A new chapter. So bad. Yeah. Mm hmm And they're fighting themselves from trying to race towards you, come towards you. Um, this is somebody who knows that they have to take things slow with you if they want to. It's like they're getting to know you all over again because you're not the same Virgo you used to be. Mm hmm And if they want to approach you, they definitely have to meet you where you are now. Mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. They can't come with this con artist, I'm going to sling sausage and think that they're going to get anywhere with you. That's not going to fly. Mm -mm. So I feel like this person is trying to think of how to come towards you because they're very aware that their next move has to be their best move. Because you already cut this person off. Mm -hmm. And they're very aware that you're paying attention now. <laughs> so ain't nothing getting over your head. They got away with enough things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they got away with enough shit. Yes. Because this person knows that they weren't giving to you in the past. They were very... This is king of coins, queen of coins in reverse, and now you got six of coins in reverse. This person might have well been a friggin'. They were just a leech. They, were, they did nothing. They just expected you to take care of them. This is entitled. I don't have shit for you, and you better have everything for me. Because you can afford it. You have a great job. You run your own business. Virgo. Mm -hmm. They know they can't come towards you with that shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you're not even trying to work with somebody like that. And for a lot of you, whoever I'm speaking to, you're not even trying to talk to anybody who doesn't have anything to offer. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's called standards. Mm -hmm. That's what that's called. Yes, uh, there's the Empress. I said I was just waiting for the Empress to come out. Virgo Manalai, though. This is your this is yeah. <laughs> I can't lie. Like, this is divine masculine, divine feminine. This is twin flamey right here, right? The push and the pull. Yeah. They treat you like shit, you level up, you separate, then you get back together, and then they do something else stupid, and you separate and you level up again, and it and it just keeps going, right? 
It keeps going until someone decides that they're not doing it anymore. Mm -hmm. Or you both decide to get it right and do it together. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. You look at this person like they're a narcissist or they're an asshole. And they were cruel and mean and cold. Mm hmm and conniving towards you. And it was unwarranted. Yeah. So, and for some of you, you feel like this person, they weren't even sorry when they did what they did, right? Yeah. Wrong and strong. Mm-hmm. A piece of shit and proud. Yeah. You found something out. Some kind of secret was revealed. I feel like someone made some kind of move or action towards you, Virgo, that made you see like, it made you come out of an illusion that you may have had about somebody, right? It's like you saw someone for who they really were. Mm -hmm. And that's why you took your sword out with this queen of swords and you blocked them, yeah? thing is this person loves you they just don't know how to show it this is also someone who could be even if, because they show up as the king of cups right so even if they have a lot of emotion for you they're really controlled right they're not going to wear their heart on the sleeve even if it's so big for you now this person yeah they're toxic as shit or they were toxic when you were with them but they do have a lot of genuine love for you they just really don't know how to show it. They don't know how to love you the way you deserve to be loved, Virgo. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this person's going to work up some strength to come towards you to say something. They may tell you something like they should have defended the relationship or you could just be defensive towards them when they try to come and talk to you but this person feels really guilty about how they treated you and how they behave towards you and they want to heal this it's like it's been bothering them yeah it's been bothering them for a long time it's been on their head i feel like this person had some time to view things from a higher perspective yeah, this person took some time to view things from a higher perspective or you you gave them time. <laughs> Virgo, because you're isolating yourself from this person. You're not speaking to this person. No, you're not. You're also not going towards them because you think they're a fool. Mm -hmm. And now they're watching you and they're trying to decide how to come towards you. Like I said, this person is going to take a, some time because they know they juggled you. This person is also having issues with their finances. They're juggling their finances. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They know they sabotage something with you and they just want to heal it. This is someone who's like, can we just get over this? Can we move past this already? Yeah. They feel rejected. And they compare everybody to you, Virgo. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah. Ah, they may try to love bomb you. Yes. And they may take the angle of sex. Yeah. This is somebody who like, Maybe when things were dying out in the relationship, sex wasn't all that great or it was monotonous or boring or whatever. When this person's trying to get you back, Virgo, they pull out all the stops, okay? All of a sudden, they're Adonis from the strip club. Oh, okay, yes. Um, what is it? Um, I'm hearing uh, Chris Brown. Fucking Robitussin. Mm hmm Yeah. Under the influence. Be prepared to get a drunk text. A drunk call, someone showing up your place drunk. <laughs> okay, yes. I don't know why the shit got me lazy right now. Baby, who cares? Bring it over to my place. Virgo. Mm hmm. Yes. This person feels like they have unfinished business with you. It's not over. As far as they're concerned, Virgo, it's not over. Yeah, yes, it's not over. But you don't want them anymore. Wow, you're, you're this, look at this. King of Cups, Queen of Cups came out. Yes, 
<sighs> I feel like <laughs> Virgo, this person's not going anywhere. Now, even if you don't marry them, <laughs> even if you want to be calm in law with them, even if you want them to be your sneaky link for the rest of their life, okay. <laughs> as, as long as they have access to you, they're not going nowhere. This someone's always going to fucking come back. Mm hmm. There's too many pairs here. This is your person, okay? This is that twin flame connection where you break apart and you come back. You just you come right back, okay? This is a very strong soul tie here. <laughs> now, you may have it and made up your mind right now that you ain't fucking with this person, but this is just separation. This is that separation period. Someone needs to do some thinking. Someone needs to do some growing. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with the stance that you have. Okay, because this person was not right with you. They need to get right. But they're coming back because someone has decided that you are their person. Mm -hmm. And they're willing to take you however the fuck you come. Yeah. Virgo, let me see what, um, what advice Spirit has for you. What advice? Spirit, can I get some last words of advice for the beautiful Virgo Collective? Thank you. Honor your sensitivities. So Virgo, spirit wants you to take extra good care of yourself today. Seek proper treatment to heal allergies or sensitivities. Someone in this collective spirit wants you to drink like herbal teas. It'll be better for your immune system. Uh, your current sensitivities carry an important message. Uh, your sensitivities are special, unique gifts. Okay, for those of you who are on your journey of ascension, which we all are. Uh, your gifts may be coming activated at this time are heightened. Mm -hmm. Spirit said pay attention to them. And boldly explore a heightened sense of psychic awareness. Uh, so whoever I'm speaking to, you can do what I do. Okay, you're no different from me. Someone, it's like I'm hearing you're coming online. You may start to pick up telepathic messages from your person. Mm -hmm. So you'll start hearing a song that keeps playing over and over again. That's your person thinking about you. Sometimes you may hear their thoughts. You can always feel how they feel you. If you're just chilling and all of a sudden you feel anxiety or something, that's your person. That's not you. Okay? Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay, okay. Get it together. <laughs> I can't make this up, Virgo. Spirit said get it together. Okay? Make the effort today. Take back your power in situations that cause you to feel helpless. That's what you did. This is confirmation. That's what I felt. I felt like, okay, your stance is, it's pretty serious right now, but it was necessary, right? So Spirit's like, yeah, you did the right thing. Commit to a healthy routine for some of you. This has to do with your sensitivities as well. Some of you, you're supposed to be eating lighter because your light body has been activated and your gifts are coming online and it would uh, aid you in maybe even eating more plant-based or just more organic green leafy foods or fruits and vegetables. Spirit wants you to take responsibility for yourself and your actions today. This is what you did, Virgo. You took back your power and you said, no, I think the fuck not. This is not happening anymore. You're taking responsibility for the choices that you make. Spirit said, create more structure in your life in order to meet your goals. Okay, so this is continue to focus on what you got to do for yourself. Because for a long time, Virgo, you were focused on making sure somebody else was living all preppy and proper and in the lap of luxury while they were doing nothing. Okay, so Spirit's like, no, you're going to change that around and pour that energy back into yourself. And Spirit wants to remind you that you got this, Virgo. Okay? Mm-hmm. So just in case you were a little bit concerned that you don't, Spirit wants you to know that you do. All right? Okay, Virgo, this is what I have for you, honey. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool another time. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.